Grrr. Ugh, why are you so useless? Mm, that's strange. I don't remember having a dog in the house. <laughs> Grrr. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Akimi, what's your problem? How many times do I have to tell you to put more sugar in my spaghetti? Listen to me. I like my food sweet. That includes pasta. Everything has to be sweet or I won't eat it. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. I thought I put enough in there. You thought? You thought isn't enough. You gotta add more. Or are you being cheap? Put more sugar in my spaghetti. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful next time. I don't care about next time. Why can't you do it correctly right now? You've gotta live right now or there's no point. If you can't make my dinner properly, I'm gonna divorce you. Do you want that? I'm sorry, I'll be careful, so please don't divorce me. Oh, so you don't want to get divorced? You still want to be with me? Yeah. If you really want me to stay, then do as I say. Eat that pasta off of the floor. All right. What are you doing? Why are you trying to use chopsticks? Huh? How am I supposed to? You're not allowed to use your hands either. I want you to eat it off of the floor like a dog. <laughs> what? You don't want to do as if I say? Can you be a good dog? Yeah, I can. Good boy. Then eat. Eat it all up. Down to the last drop of sauce. Right now. I'm digging in. Ugh, it's so sweet. <laughs> You're actually eating it. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> you really don't want to get divorced, I see. You're so pathetic, it's hilarious. You really do love me, don't you? Yeah, I really do love you. Please don't divorce me. You're so dutiful. All right, I'll forgive you. So hurry up and remake dinner. Don't forget the sugar this time. Yeah. <sighs> my name is Ryo Akutsu. And this is my wife, Akemi. She doesn't work, so she's what you'd call a housewife. I'm just an average office worker. You might be wondering if she really is a housewife if she's not doing any of the housework. Well, she calls herself a housewife, so I don't have much choice. I can't argue back to her. Even though I'm the one that's doing all the cooking, cleaning, and the laundry after I come home from work, she doesn't lift a finger. Ugh, I'm so tired. I wonder if this is how I'm gonna live for the rest of my life. Ryu, I finally found you! Huh? Oh, it's you, Masaki. This is Masaki, my former fiancé. I broke up with her when I decided to marry Akemi. Hey, what are you up to? What are you talking about? I'm not up to anything. Why? Why did you leave me for a woman like that? Why did you choose her? For a woman like that? That sounds rude. You're insulting my wife. I don't care if I'm insulting her. I saw you together the other day. She was shouting and bullying you in the middle of the street. I can tell that she doesn't care about you at all. She doesn't love you. So what? That doesn't matter. I love her. As long as I love her, I don't care what happens to me. I can't accept that. I don't care what you think. Even if she doesn't love me, that doesn't mean I'm gonna go running back to you. What over? I'm going home. Wait, Rio, please. Don't go. Just tell me the truth. Did you break up with me because of my dad's restaurant? Your dad has nothing to do with this. I broke up with you to be with Akimi, understand? Don't ever talk to me again. Don't ever talk to me ever again. I want pain in the ass. What are you gonna do if Akemi catches us talking again? Ugh, I thought I told you never to speak to me again. Nope. You never said that to me. Huh? Do I know you? I'm Miyako. I'm a regular high school student that can't help but jump up and down when I hear the phrase shy ants. I've never heard of a high school student like that. And, uh, what's your business with me, Miyako? I don't even know you. Look at my arm. It should explain everything. Huh? Your arm? Oh, you've got it in a cast. So you broke it or something? Yeah. I encountered a mountain gorilla in town and broke my arm trying to capture it. So you gotta come with me. Hey, that makes no sense at all. Why do I have to come with you? Just come with me. Come on. Wait a minute, let go of me! I'm not going anywhere with you! I ended up being dragged away by Miyako to the local baseball grounds? What are we doing here? You've got experience playing baseball before, right? Well, yeah, I do, but that's... Uh... I was supposed to be playing some baseball with my friends today, but as you can see, I'm not in any condition to play. I've got to sit out, and I need someone to cover for me. That's where you come in. You're kidding, right? That's way too sudden. You have to take responsibility for what happened to my arm. Why? I didn't have anything to do with you getting her. Adults, they always run away from their responsibilities. What a cruel world. What, really? That's awful. Yeah, right. It's too horrible. No, wait, I really didn't. All right, I'll do whatever you want. Happy? I'll play ball. Yeah, let's play. <sighs> Hurry up and get out there. It's your turn to bat. What, already? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I haven't even stretched. Damn it. I feel like I'm in a pimple machine. What am I doing? 
How does she even know that I used to play baseball? I was playing until I graduated from college and was even aiming to play professionally, but I never competed in anything major because of an injury I got. Ugh, but none of that matters now. I'll just hit a few balls and go home. Let's play! T me Hey, what now? He hasn't even pitched yet! I wanna hurry up and go home. I can't let you stand in the batter's box with a face like that. You were the one that told me to play, remember? What else do you want? The today you're living might be the tomorrow that someone's wishing for. What? You're able to play baseball today, but I won't be able to play tomorrow or the day after. I can't let you waste this chance you have. Don't play baseball like you wish you were someone else. Not with dead eyes like those. Now that's going too far. I never wanted to play, but you forced me into covering for you. I don't even want to play baseball. I don't even have the will to live anymore. But you dragged me here and pretty much blackmailed me. Oh, now I've said too much, damn it! You don't even want to live? What are you talking about? It's none of your business! Um, I was wondering, uh, could we play? Mr. Hitakiyama, shut up. Miyako, I'm the umbuyer. Tell me. Uh, why should I tell you anything? What can you do? Tell me. If you don't, I'm gonna tell the entire town that you're the one that broke my arm. You threatened me! I had nothing to do with that! You said that it was a high school girl that looks like a mountain gorilla! Who's going to believe you? Do you really think there's a high school student like that? What? Then how? It's more believable if I say that you broke it instead of some story about a gorilla. That's dirty! Say what you like, I'll do it. Everyone here knows me, and they'll know that I'm talking about Nagisa when I say that I was a mountain gorilla, but he doesn't have to know that. Listen up, everyone! But wait, fine, I'll tell you! So you don't have to. You'll talk? All right, let's listen. Go on. Ugh. It's our first date in ages. Ugh, I can't wait to see Masaki. Huh? There's someone waiting outside our house. Who is that? Hey, open up! I know you're in there! So there's no point ignoring us! Mitsumuju, give us back our money! You owe me, Mitsumuju! Uh, I'm so sorry! Finally? We were gonna break the door down? Huh? It's a girl? Hey, where's your dad? We have business with him! My dad can't come to the door. He's really unwell. Really? You sure he's not faking? I would be happy if he is. He's not faking. He's bedridden because of all the work he's been doing to pay you back. You don't have any money right now, but I promise we'll pay you back. Please, just give us some more time. That's all we need. Are you sure you want to do that? The more you make us wait, the more the interest increases on your debt. Can you really pay it? No? Nah? I'm sorry. I'll do whatever it takes to pay it back, so please. How about you start working a nice shift selling your body? You'll finish paying up in no time. I can't do that. You don't have a choice. Come with this. I don't want to. L let go of me, please. Hey. Huh? Who the hell are you? What do you mean? That's my fiance you're grabbing. Let go of her. Rio. Fiance? And how about you give us the money? Here, I'll give you everything I have. This is all I have right now, so can you leave us alone for today? Fine. But remember this. We'll be back. Hey girl, make sure you think of a stage name. Next time we visit, you'll be taking customers. <laughs> Rio, I'm sorry. Who are those guys? They're the loan sharks my dad borrowed money from. I think they might be from the Mafia. The Mafia? Yeah, my dad couldn't get any loans from any banks in town. He had no choice. I'm sorry I had to waste your money. I'll pay you back, I swear. Masaki's dad owned a small restaurant. They were doing fine until the train restaurant opened up nearby, and they lost footfall. Akimi's father was the owner of that chain restaurant. She promised me that she would deal with Masaki's debt if I married her. Is that so? That's why I agreed to leave Masaki for Akemi. I found out that Akemi's dad had connections in the Mafia, and they threatened to start hassling Masaki for money again if I tried to get a divorce. They still have that over me. Besides, the reason why Masaki's dad has lost so many customers in the first place was because members of the Mafia have been threatening their customers to go eat at the chain restaurant. Of course, he tried to talk to the police, but they wouldn't do anything. Apparently, Akemi's father has a lot of influence over the police as well, so none of them are willing to risk their jobs. It sounds like a lot of trouble. Is that what you have to say after forcing me to tell you everything? <sighs> I guess you wouldn't understand. You're still in high school. Uh, can we get started soon? Time's to- Forget about all of that right now. Huh? While you're in the batter's box, think only about swinging the bat you've got in your hand. Full swing! Forget about everything else, huh? Come to think of it, I don't think I've taken a moment to just live in the moment. I've always been thinking about whether I've made the right choice. It's my first baseball game in years. 
I guess I'll do as Miyaku says and try and focus on enjoying it. Let's play ball! Whoa! Nash nice swing! That was amazing! It's flying! That was a great swing. <laughs> I'm glad. You look much more relaxed now. Really? Yeah, but I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Huh? Bad news? What's up? Yeah, that ball you hit just flew into the Mafia's backyard. What? The Mafia? You're kidding! Nope, I heard something break too. I have a bad feeling that you hit the bonsai tree that the Mafia boss is really fond of. No way! Are you really sure? What do I do? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh no. Didn't they come after me? I don't know. Maybe you should try launching a surprise attack? What? A surprise attack? What for? What for? If you defeat the Mafia, all of your problems will be solved. You won't have to worry about Misaki's death. You can leave Akemi. It's perfect timing, right? Well, yeah, but... Go on, you've got to strike while the iron's still hot. No, hey! Uh, quit pulling me! See you later! Take care! Oh, I want to go home and sleep. Hey, are you gonna save me? Stop her, please! Come on, let's go. What, are you being serious? We're going there? Suck it up. You said that you didn't care about living anymore. So what's wrong with risking everything to change your situation? Damn it! Fine! I'll go, happy? She's right. I don't care about the life I have right now. Why should I be scared about losing it? I might as well use my final moments to fight for the life I wanted. I might not come back from this fight, but at least I'll go out the way I want. Alright, I'm going! Yeah, I'll see you later. Ah! What's that? Here he comes. So, this is the guy. I'll send him flying! Take him down, boys! He's the one that hit that baseball! Get revenge for my bonsai tree! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Yeah! Crap, I'm dead. But at the very least, if I die here, the news will get to the police and I'll have to make a move. If not, somebody will leak it to the press, and someone will find the connection between Akemi's father and the Mafia. All I can do is hope that something will change. Goodbye, Misaki. Later that evening. Rio, hurry up and finish the laundry. I'm starving here. How long do I have to wait for you to make me my dinner? Come on, I want to eat foie gras. I'm not making you your dinner, not anymore. Excuse me? Did you just talk back to me? Hang on, why are you leaving my clothes in the laundry basket? You're supposed to be washing my clothes first. What are you doing? How many times do I have to tell you to wash my laundry before you do yours? If you don't listen to what I say, I'm going to get a divorce. Do you want that? Yeah, go ahead. What? Did you really just say that? Are you sure? You know what'll happen if we get divorced. I'm the one that's allowing your ex fiance to live in peace. If it wasn't for me, she'd have the Mafia breaking her door down every single day. If we get divorced, my daddy's going to make you regret that you ever stood up to me. He'll make life- Why don't you tell him? I don't care. Oh, really? I will. I'll tell him everything. You won't get away with this. Hello? Daddy? Ryo's not listening to what I say. You gotta tell those guys from the Mafia too. Huh? Daddy? Are you listening to me? Daddy? What's going on? He hung up on me. I think he's going to be a little busy for a while. You'll have to call him later. What, what do you mean? Turn on the TV and see for yourself. What? Th that's Daddy's office. What's going on? Why is it on TV? All the dealings you've had with the Mafia were found out by the press. Every channel is focused on this story. What? What? That's impossible. My Daddy has connections everywhere. There's no way anyone would say a bad word about him. Everywhere? What about you also publishing? I've never heard of them. What can they possibly do? I thought so. It's a company I founded just a while ago. What? That company of mine published an article sharing everything I know. You should know what will happen for doing something like that. I'm gonna tell Daddy, so he's gonna ruin you. Besides, there's no way any publication company in their right mind would make an enemy of my Daddy. Well, there is. And it looks like the Mafia was the one that was ruined. So your threats mean nothing. You can't be serious. That doesn't make any sense. Why would the Mafia lose to a startup business? I'm not bothered to explain everything to you. All you have to know, all you have to know is that our relationship is over. I want a divorce. I'm pretty sure the press will be coming to your place too. I wish you all the best. I'm leaving. W wait a minute! You can't just leave! Don't leave me! What happened? Well, it all began when I stormed into that Mafia boss's house. Ah! You've been pranked. Yeah, you really have guts, man. It's exactly what Miyako said he would be. Right, so will you guys help us out? Of course! He was willing to risk his life. We can't ignore a guy like that when he needs our help. We'll clear up your problems in no time! An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. They'll get what they deserve. I'll help too! W what What are you talking about? Miyako, who are these guys? They're part of my prank. Your prank? 
Yeah. What are you up to? Your ex-fiance asked me to help out. She wanted me to find out why you had suddenly left her, and why you changed. She had a hunch that you had left her in exchange for getting rid of her dad's debt, but she wasn't sure. Masaki asked you? Yeah. How'd you know her? I used to go to the local ballpark to watch you play baseball and cheer you guys on. What? You really were a great batter before you got hurt. I was hoping that you would play for Giants when you went professional. I got to know Misaki at one of your games. Seriously? Yeah, that's why I thought baseball would be the best way to get you to open up and tell me everything. And you really did. I was planning to use the Uwasa Gang's methods to get you to confess, but there was no need. Hey, I've already told you everything, so why did you bring out the Uwasa Gang anyway? Well, I had them waiting on standby, so I thought I might as well use them. I'd feel bad if they didn't get any showtime. What's up with that reasoning? The baseball lovers really are a simple-minded species. Who are you calling simple? By the way, these guys are all good mafia, so don't worry. Huh? Good mafia? They're different from the mafia guys that are making you and Misaki suffer. These are the guys that are going to help you make a comeback from the two outs in the bottom of the ninth. What do you want to do? Give up or grab the chance to come out on top? I'm not giving up. I was ready to risk my life, Masaki, when I charged in here. That hasn't changed one bit. That's the spirit. After that, the members of the Iwasa gang helped me to set up my publication company and find evidence of the offenses the Mafia was committing. With that, we were able to crush Akemi's father's company. All the people who had been involved with Akemi and her father, the press, members of the police force, higher-ups from the Mafia, they were all gathered up by the Iwasa gang. What is this place? It's cold! Hey, you'll never get away with this! Take us back home! You're not going anywhere. You're staying right here. I hear that you've been making a lot of people suffer up until now. Some of them have even lost their lives. That's no good. You've got to show some regret for what you've done. Why should we regret anything? Enough. Hurry up and take us back home. No. From today onwards, you'll be living here. Living here? In the middle of nowhere? More importantly, where the hell are we? This is Bove Island, a dependent territory of Norway. It's uninhabited, and 93% of its area is covered in glacier. Fun fact! The average temperature all year round is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, and there's more! Guess what? The nearest human population is 2,250 kilometers away! No way! If it's this cold, I'm sure it'll be easier for you to cool off and think about what you've done. We'll have to stay here until you change your ways. It might take you the rest of your lives, but that's not our problem. Well, wait a second! Don't leave me here! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for what I did! As you can see, all the people who are involved ended up being banished and forced to fend for themselves in the harshest conditions. All of their wealth was divided between their victims as compensation and was put to good use. After some investigation, we found out the reason why Akemi was so obsessed with staying with me. According to Miyako, it turns out that she was a fan of mine when I was playing baseball in college, too. Akemi often came to cheer me on and must have decided that just watching me wasn't enough. Her greed got the best of her. She had made a plan to try and own me. After that, I married Masaki and took over her dad's business. We're living happily ever after, and her dad's health has improved a lot. Especially since our customers have been coming back. I couldn't ask for anything more. Come on in and take a seat! Oh, it's you. Hey. Thanks, Miyako, for everything. I was just returning the favor I owed. A favor? What do you mean? Yeah, watching you play baseball was really inspiring. You had a great run. Miyake, thanks. But the game's only just begun, Ryo. You've gained extra innings to start your life over, so don't ever think about throwing your life away. I know, you don't have to tell me. Good, then let's watch the game. The Giants are up. Yeah, 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 all right. Two hours later. Hey, come on, why didn't he hit the ball? You've got to put your back into the swing. Miyako, go home already! I can't. My grandma's watching her favorite show, so I can't watch the game at home. Well, that doesn't mean you can watch it here! She really is a weird girl, but it's thanks to her that I'm here with Masaki. I'm never gonna give up ever again. I've got to treasure this chance I've been given. Until the game finishes. No, even after it finished. I'm gonna make Masaki happy.